Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Liverpool at the historic Stanley Dock to go and stay in the Titanic Hotel. This place is massive. The hotel is in the North Warehouse, which was built back in 1846. It's been derelict for a number of years. It was really badly damaged in an air raid back in World War II. Let's head in. Now the lifts are nothing special, but the hallways are just mind-blowing. Are you ready for this? Now bearing in mind this is in an old warehouse, right? First thing you see is the exposed ceiling absolutely everywhere. And of course, our first look at the White Star Line, which you'll see photographs and logos absolutely everywhere, obviously. It is very dimly lit and Hopefully you'll be able to see it on the camera, just how big the hallways are. I mean, they are absolutely huge, long. But my room is not down there. It's right at the end, thankfully, where there is a little bit more light. But I mean, you could literally do, I don't know, a run from there to there, and it would probably take you a good two or three minutes to run down. It is so long all the rooms you can't actually see the doors all you can see is the the numbers showing the rooms it's kind of really spooky you really do literally get out of breath just walking from the lift i mean the light coming from the window is helping light up this hallway but if it wasn't for that and probably later it'll be a lot darker down there here's my room Now apparently it's all original windows, but clearly they've obviously been updated, the ceilings the same as well. And in fact, there's a little card that says, you know, watch out for a bit of dust or a little bit of masonry that might fall down. Well, it doesn't say masonry, but it just says a bit of dust. So just before I show you around this amazing suite, let me just take a moment to sit here. Sorry, it's a little bit overexposed. In the window, I can sit up here with my feet out and take in the sunset. Look at that. What a place to sit with a cup of tea and watch the sunset. But let's check out the rest of the room because this place is vast and it also comes with its own bar. I've never been in a room that's had its own bar before. Again, it gives you the Titanic vibes like you're on a ship a little bit. However, there is no alcohol here. Oh, <laughs> that light is a little bit too close. I do have some complimentary water. I have an ice bucket or an ice machine. And there's a drawer here. Oh, nothing in it. But a great place for at least a photo. Welcome to my lounge. This is very nice. Lovely little table over here where I can have breakfast in the morning if I want, because it can be delivered to the room. A couple of uh, cushions, nice comfy chairs. Again, love the lighting in here, very subtle. Are these fresh flowers? No, they're plastic, unfortunately. A very nice leather sofa, a nice comfy chair, and the tea and coffee facilities have been plonked here, well away from the actual plug socket. But there you go, we can just move it. A couple of biscuits and plenty of tea and coffee, which is nice, and milk too. Love this reading table. Ah, oh, this is a very nice leather couch. You know, I'm not normally a big fan of leather couches, but yeah, this is nice. Although if you've ever had a leather couch or you have a leather couch, they're never very warm to sit on, especially if you're naked. You know, some hotels I go into and they don't have much seating at all. This hotel room has a lot of seats, including this huge one at the end of the bed. I don't know, this could be Casper's bed. It's actually the same width as the bed, but is it really practical? Would you use it? I mean, you can sit here and watch the television. Talking of the bed, first thing I saw when I came in, the not so luxury wear and tear of the, the box springs, which is a little bit of a shame, but the bed itself compared to the rest of the room does seem, well, very basic. I mean, yeah, it's not the best bed in the world. It's not the worst. You can definitely feel the springs in the mattress. Wow, just looking up to the ceiling though. What's kind of scary is there's lots of cracks just up there. And I can see tiny little bits of brick. Let's just hope they don't fall on me in the night. So I have asked for an encasement mattress on here, but I tell you what, I don't know if you can see that, but there is loads of hairs. 
Ah, like loads of hairs on the bed. That is gross. I'm surprised considering that I did ask for this to be put on because this is an encasement mattress. But look at all the black curly hairs. The camera picks that up, but there's loads of them. I just had to look at the carpet and I thought, oh, I can lift this up. Lift this right up. It's not even flat down. Love the quirky lighting though. You've got a little overhead light there and then I guess this is the reading light. Little tables. Some of the blueprints there of the Titanic, is it? Olympic and Titanic. What I love about the room is they could have basically put a fog ceiling in and it would have just ruined the character. I mean, you can see these huge, big, solid steel beams, iron beams, whatever they are, running throughout the room. For some reason, it looks like there was, or should have been, a picture there. But just look at the surrounds by the windows. How elegant is that? These curtains are gorgeous. And we've got a big TV. We've got a very nice coffee machine as well. We've got a phone to call reception and a notepad, which is quite nice. I take it this is the mini bar. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Oh, nothing in the mini bar. Bit of a shame. Not that I'd be using it. I mean, it does say bar down there. Hair dryer, find me in here. There's the hair dryer. Even the drawers, I love these. It's like bits of luggage to open them. The laundry bag. What's this? Oh, the safe. There you go. So it's this way to the bathroom. And the bathroom comes with a bath and a shower. We've got a couple of extra blankets up here. We also have slippers of the Titanic Hotel on them, I think. Not branded on the dressing gowns, but they are branded on the slippers. That's something. But what about the bathroom? Again, this is huge. And you've got a choice of a bath and a shower, double sinks, which is quite nice. Again, definitely the Titanic vibes here with the lighting. A nice heated towel rail, hand wash. Let's check out the shower, because this is uh, quite a big shower. I've got to double check because sometimes you just can't tell because the glass is so crystal clear. You think to yourself, am I walking into the door? But no, there's no door here. But I've never been in a shower where the actual shower head is so, so far away from me. It's dripping on me right now. I mean, that's quite a height even before it gets into the shower. So I'm sure it's going to just, yeah. I'm gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could get nine people squeezed in this shower. Crazy. And by the toilet, more White Star Line memorabilia. Look at that, Liverpool to New York. Every Wednesday, calling at Queenstown every Thursday. Just 10 pounds back then. Of course, that would have been extremely expensive. Third class passengers at lower rates. And then we've got the tub. Love this, pretty big. I wonder what those bits were in there. I thought they were bits, but these are all chips. Oh no, there's a little black curly hair. Like how they put the towels there on this little stool. So that's the bathroom. So as the sun is setting, let's go and check out the hotel. Of course, there's gonna be lots of memorabilia about the Titanic and the other ships from the White Star Line. There is also a swimming pool. The only bad thing about the swimming pool is you have to book your session and you have to pay for it. I think it's 10 or 20 pounds, so it's not included in the price, but breakfast is, which is good, come on. I'm not gonna lie though, the hallway does freak me out, but look at the carpet though, pretty special, all the cogs. The theming is on point. Is that a person coming towards me? Honestly, it's so dark you can't tell. I think it is, yeah. So just reference, there's the lifts there, and then again, the corridor just keeps on going. It's just how wide they are. I don't know if you can see this, the old door hinges are still on them as well. It does remind me of Bodmin Jail, the hotel, a little bit. Yikes, wow. You're one of the original, I don't know, doors still there. 
It's midweek, so hopefully it shouldn't be too busy, but I've got to show you this bar. Straight away as you come out the lift, you see scale model of the Titanic. And there's memorabilia literally everywhere. So if you're a bit of a Titanic fan, you would love some of this stuff. Pictures. Even fridge magnets. Just have to show you this. Look at the lights. Completely ruined by the football being on the telly. I love all the little touches even in the bar with the, the classic lights, the leather seats, the gorgeous cushions. So the bar area continues in here. I like how it's all open plan though. Let's see what the building used to look like because that one over there is really old, especially if you've ever driven past Stanley Docks, you'd have seen that building. This is the restaurant. Again, it is open with more little Titanic miniatures. That is so cool. Open kitchen as well. I love that. So you can see how the food is being cooked. So I'll be coming in here for breakfast. I'm not going to be eating dinner in here tonight though. I don't know how I get access into the rum warehouse. Will my card work? No, it won't. It's a shame because I'll have to see if I can get in there and have a look. So this is a couple of shots from the actual Titanic itself. They say 200 of these guys died. They couldn't make it out because they were stuck, you know? That one I feel is maybe a setup. For some yeah, reason. Yeah, definitely, because the way they're looking. I just feel it's set up. But it might not be, you know? That could just be purely. You never know, you know? Wow, this is a big space. Mega, yeah. Up to 600 people in here. Wow, so you get married here? <laughs> you absolutely can, of course, yeah. Massive weddings here. We've had big Greek weddings, Indian weddings. So is the hotel like a, is it classed as a Titanic themed hotel or is it? <clears throat> well, yes, I would class it as a Titanic themed hotel only because the Titanic has nothing to do with the building. Well, no, the company actually is based in Belfast. Yeah. They own the Titanic and the Titanic Museum in Belfast, right. which is where the Titanic came from. Yeah. And then they expanded to this building. This is their Liverpool base. You yeah. know, Liverpool was printed on the, on the stern of the, the ship. Yeah. So you've got Liverpool on the stern. Um, but yeah, this is the replica made of Irish oak. Like the wow. Ship. Cool. So it's to scale and everything, is it? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Everything is. Oh well, there's a little bit of carving missing on the front, <laughs> yeah. and a big cherub statue. Yeah. What other than that, all of this is spot on. Am I allowed to walk up? Of course, people usually walk up. In the film, actually, they removed this middle partition, yeah. so Jack and Rose could hold each other and walk down the staircase. Oh, I see. Yeah. That down there, the bridge, is the beginning of the Leeds Liverpool Canal takes you 150 miles up to Leeds. Well, last night's sleep was um, quite disturbed. Um, there was a lot of racket coming from the bathroom. It sounded like pipe work going on and water and funny hissing noises and stuff like that. Um, but I guess in a building like this, it's to be expected. So it wasn't the best night's sleep, cause, uh, and, and the room was quite cold as well. I had trouble um, trying to find where the um, thermostat was. Okay, so it's just past 7 a.m. I know, very early, um, because I've got my swimming pool appointment at 8 a.m. And what I didn't realize, even though I have to pay 20 pound for this, I also have to share it with um, a, a maximum of eight to 14 people. Because apparently it's not a swimming pool, it's more like a plunge pool. So we'll see what that's like after breakfast. This hall gets me every time. Why is it when a restaurant is empty, they'll put you right by other people? Don't get why they do that. I'm sure there's method in their madness. 
So the breakfast is self-service. There's a buffet up there. We'll go and check it out. First of all, just having a coffee. Quite good. Look at the view. I love the way it's laid out. Very nice. There's, a, there's an omelet station as well. Oh, is that included in the price? That's good. That's obviously for room service. Those fried eggs look good. Hey, voila. I'm going for quite a small breakfast, actually, because obviously going into the pool with a full stomach is probably not a good idea. I'm at the pool. I've got to fill in a form to go in the pool. Am I pregnant? No. Recent operations, allergies. I'm a hotel resident and I'm paying card. <laughs> That's all I need to do. Wow, so it's like a big jacuzzi, more than a swimming pool. A few sunbeds in here. Looks like there's a steam room, a sauna, and a, a scenarium. So I'm actually the first one in here, so I'm gonna quickly get in and quickly film a little bit before other people arrive. This is like one big jacuzzi. Is lovely. So the thing with the bubbles, you can't see where you're going. Is this the sea? Oh yeah, it is. Ah, oh, this is nice. So the Titanic Hotel in Liverpool. Overall, I had a great stay. The things that let it down for me was there was a lot of noise when I was trying to sleep from the bathroom and other pipes going through the room, or what sounded like that. The carpet did seem quite dirty. It was also not stuck down, and around the edges, it really did not look that great. Those hairs on the bed didn't look like they were just from one person. They looked like they were from multiple people, so I'm quite surprised that they never actually got down to those sheets and cleaned that. I didn't have dinner there last night, but breakfast was lovely. It's a shame I had to spend £20 to use Use the spa because in some hotels that's included but it was worth it but was it worth it for 20 pound the breakfast was included which was good I stayed in a superior corner you can probably just see it just over there and my one night here in Liverpool cost me 178 pounds what do you think if you're a big fan of the Titanic Yes, there's no direct link to this particular building to the Titanic, but of course Liverpool does White Star Lines. There's lots of uh, memorabilia and photos in there. And of course you can have your photo taken on the steps of the Titanic, a replica anyway. Tell me what you thought in the comments. Please make sure you do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that notification bell. I'll see you next time.